Hi guys, my name's Ian. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you saw the Apple Live event, which happened a couple of weeks ago, where they introduced a load of new products. Uh, really excited about the iPad Pro. I'll be doing a video once that comes out uh, very soon. But I really liked the treatment they did to the classic Hello logo that Apple produced for the IMAX, and uh, which was featuring behind Tim as well when he spoke. And I thought that'd be cool if we could recreate that. So today I'm going to take you through that process of creating the monolithic script and applying the gradient to the stroke in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump in. With Illustrator open, we're going to create a new document, 600 pixels by 600 pixels, and then we're going to place an image by going to File and Place. We're going to put in the Apple Hello logo. A link to this will be in the description, and then we're going to place it onto our document. We're going to lock that layer so we don't accidentally move it. And then we are going to select the pen tool. We're going to make the stroke black. We don't need to worry about the weight a moment because we'll adjust that in a minute. Um, but then we are going to start clicking and dragging over our lettering to trace it. So I do a first pass, which is where I go over it roughly, just plotting the points, not worrying too much about where the handles are. But when I'm doing this, I bear in mind uh, a method called uh, the compass method. So on nearly every letter, I know that I'm going to put one on the north, south, east and west of it. And I make sure that they're either perfectly horizontal or perfectly uh, vertical. I do this by holding down the shift key uh, while I'm drawing uh, the points. But as you can see on the letter O, I've only done two because I know that if I make those handles equal, it's going to make an equal O um, looking shape. And then I go back over the um, word tweaking or the handles to uh, make sure that the line is sort of fitting perfectly in the center of uh, the thing I'm tracing. Um, something that I learned over years of doing this is that rather than the handles on either side of the point looking equal, it's actually the opposing handles. So the right hand side of one point and the left hand side of the following point need to be equal in terms of length to make it make those curves smoother um, and yeah you're trying to just do that and balance up and if you find that you're overextending one and one is really tiny then it might be the case you need to add another point or some just need to be at a random angle just to get uh, the lettering flowing how it should be which is fine but just having in the back of the mind that compass method of northeast south and west when you're plotting your points just really helps you to get them down quickly and then you can go through the process of tweaking it and making it look natural and the curves to look natural and it flowing well together next we are going to give uh, the stroke some weight so open up the stroke panel and under the weight select something like 10 to start with and actually it's a little bit uh, too small so we're going to put it out by a couple of points and then we are going to change the cap to rounded and the corner to rounded as well to make it all look uh, nice and smooth now that you increase the weight you might want to uh, tweak the points uh, a little bit tweak the handles just to match it up with uh, the image below And then we are going to duplicate that layer we've been working on by dragging it onto the new layer uh, icon and just turning that off so we've got one there uh, if we need to go back to it and then we're going to drag it up to the top so we can use the below image as color reference so next we're going to going to select the eyedropper tool or eye on the keyboard and we're going to select the first color on this gradient and we drag and drop it onto the, our swatches panel so we keep that color and then we're going to go through the rest of the word selecting the light and dark colors uh, throughout the gradient so starting off with the greens uh, and then going on to the sort of yellows so you can select as many or as little colors as you want, but the more colors you select, the better um, it's going to look in terms of the variation of colors and the smoothness of the gradient. But don't worry if you've not uh, select enough colors, you can always come back and do that at a later point. 
Next, we are going to grab the direct selection tool and select the black uh, version of the lettering. And then we're going to open up the gradient panel. So go to window and gradient if you haven't already uh, got it on your sidebar. Then select the uh, stroke and click on default gradient that is there. And then we have three options under stroke. We have apply a gradient with in the stroke, apply gradient along the stroke and apply gradient across the stroke. We want the center one which is apply gradient along the stroke. If you're finding that the stroke is not going the right way, it's going black to white rather than white to black, then just get the pen tool and tap on the last point of the word. Now you want to drag and drop each of the color swatches onto the gradient. We're going to start with the first color and the last color. Then you can just drag off the uh, black and white ones to remove them or you can click on them and press the uh, delete icon and then you're going to populate the rest of them from uh, what you see on the left hand side of the reference image all the way over to the right. Don't worry about accuracy at the moment because we're just going to place them and then tweak them to make sure that it matches up. Now we've done that we can now uh, subtly tweak them. Some may look fine uh, like the O uh, but others like the E where it needs a bit more of the orange uh, on the lower part. We're just going to um, move that over to the left. Um, depending on how many colors you got uh, is dependent on how long this will take you. But you're just trying to get it roughly similar to what you can see at the bottom. But if you're doing your own word then it's up to you what, uh, how you want it to look. But it's quite nice having the sort of deeper colour down the bottom of the letter and the lighter colour uh, across the top. There you go guys, I hope you found that useful and you can use some of those tips and tricks in your own work to apply that effect to. Uh, if you've got any questions then leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.